Well, Uber has officially cut rates for drivers and drivers are fed up. Drivers are mad because the cost of living keeps going up and for some reason, Uber pays keeps going down. So, I mean, have you guys noticed what Joe, what's happening with the Biden administration and Joe Biden, 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 Bidenomics? The value of the US dollar is going down. So the money you make today is worth less than the money if you had made the same money just a couple years ago. So shouldn't Uber be paying drivers more? Well, they're not. And according to this study, Uber is, uh, their pay is going down. So we're gonna jump into that. Before I do, I wanted to tell you guys, if you are interested in making extra money or if you're looking for a new side hustle or just, you know, you're done with Uber um, or you're just looking for money, you can start making money right here on YouTube, okay? There's a little known secret that you can start making money on YouTube with a faceless YouTube channel. You don't need to show your face. It's a hundred, you can be 100% anonymous or you can be 75% anonymous. You can be, you know, you don't have to be anonymous, but a lot of people don't like to show their face or they don't want to. Um, and I've been doing this guys. And on one of my YouTube channels, I br I've brought in so far this year over $57,000. Look at that. I mean, this has really changed my life guys. This past year, uh, last year I brought in over $120,000. And um, just if you go to another month, this one, I made $10,000 in that month. Some months I made 20,000 bucks, 30,000 bucks. I think that month, this month I made $37,000 in a single month. That's just on one YouTube channel and I have several of them. So I'm showing people how to do it um, after I've been doing it for five years. I've taught so many of my friends in real life. So finally I figured why not start a membership community online? So it's a, it's a new community, but once you join it, you'll, I have a 54 minute video already uploaded explaining the whole thing on how to get started and grow your own page and start making money. And then I, we also have a group chat. And right now there's a 30 day free trial, no risk. You can cancel at any time. I hope you stay because I want to help you guys. But um, yeah, check it out below. We're really growing it. A lot of drivers are already joining it. And it's, um, I have full confidence that so many of you guys who join, it's going to be life changing because it has for me. You know, I was able to buy this house I'm sitting in. And you know, we, I did not come from money, so it's a little weird, but Hey, I'm all about transparency. Now there's look at this. I mean, Uber has been cutting rates for drivers. Like this, this driver on Reddit, this was just posted yesterday. It's kind of going viral. He says, I don't do, I, I don't think this is doable anymore with gas prices this high in Southern California and Uber cutting the fare. How the F are y'all able to able to work for this BS? Because keep in mind, now in, in, now in Southern California or anywhere in California, you can go work at a fast food, fast food restaurant today. You can go apply and work at a fast food restaurant and start making $20 per hour starting. And after a couple short months, you could probably get in a promotion and start making 25 an hour. I mean, it's crazy. You can, I mean, and Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out guys, th those are places that qualify. Those are not bad places to work. Like you, sh you shouldn't have to feel like it's, it's not this, I mean, I don't think working anywhere is, is bad. Like I'm, I, I've done, I've worked at Starbucks, I've worked at Nike, I've worked at a restaurant, I've worked at a bookstore, liquor store. I uh, play, I literally played music out on the streets for tips. Like I've sold knives door to door, to door for Cutco and Vector Marketing. Like I've done the weirdest jobs. I've done jobs that, you know, I hated, but hey, I, I think it does grow, help grow your um, personality and I think it helps grow your character by working some of these jobs that people don't want to work because it, it allows you to appreciate the other side. And for me, you know, after working all those jobs, not growing up with money, you know, getting food from the food pantry, like it's it now that I own a house and I'm, I feel like I am kind of on the other side. I mean, I still obviously am working and everything. But it's not like I'm, you know, super rich or anything. I'm not, I'm not rich, but I do feel like, you know, I don't have to work those jobs anymore. I feel like more appreciative of it because I have done those things. So Uber drivers right now, I, I just don't see how it's going to play out long term. Look at this cash. How somebody said, how are you able to work for this BS? Someone said it's the maintenance that gets you. And then another person comment and depreciation. Most people won't realize their real costs until they trade in their vehicle, likely rolling over negative equity into the new loan. That's exactly right. Most people, when they drive for Uber for a year, two, three years, 
they don't realize how much value they've lost in on their car. And a lot of people, they have $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 loans on their car that after they've driven for two, three years, that car is probably only worth like five or six grand. And then they go to trade in their car and the, the company's like, well, you put, you have 150,000 miles on your car, but your loan's 40 K. They roll over that equity. And now all of a sudden, next time your car payment goes from like 400 bucks a month to like a thousand a month because you have so much negative equity that they have to roll over to your new car. I don't believe in buying new cars. I'm actually most likely in the process of buying a five, a $5,200 car. Hopefully within the next week, I'm, I'm going to be buying a used car and, um, and that's, that's the best thing to do. And getting a used car because you don't have to get hit with depreciation. So anyways, massive update, Uber, uh, rates are apparently going down. There was even a study from Gridwise. I don't know if you guys saw this, but Gridwise, um, has, it shows that drivers have been making 15%, uh, less. Look at this. This is a headline on business insider. Can you guys read that? The average Uber and Uber eats driver was, so I can't read backwards. Saw their, not was, saw their earnings decline over 15%. So even though the cost of living and everything's going up, Uber pays dropping guys. So I want to ask you guys, are you going to keep driving for Uber and putting up with this BS? Or are you going to work at McDonald's or Chick-fil-A for 20 bucks an hour? If you're in California, I don't know what it's like in your, your state, but for me, I'm in SoCal. Yeah, if I was if I was doing Uber full time, I would be applying to work at Chick Fil A in a second, in an instant. All right. So again, if you're interested in checking out my course, uh, it's not really a course; it's more like a community. Uh, there's a membership fee, but right now, for the limited time, for the first hundred people, there's a 30 day free trial to learn how I've been able to on one YouTube channel generate over fifty seven thousand dollars this year, and you go back a year over $120,000. That's $10,000 a month for the past 18 months. I mean, it's kind of a proven method for me. Uh, this is just something I've been, you know, really, really relying on for money. And I think it's repeatable. I think so many of you guys watching this can set up your own faceless YouTube channel and start making money. There's so many people online who I see, especially on YouTube. I see them. I see these channels and I'm like, these people are making over hundred thousand dollars a month. Like even if you start a channel and you're only making a thousand a month, like that's still really good money. You know, you put that in the stock market or you put that in a, 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 um, a mutual fund or the S and P 500 that averages 10 to 11% per year. You put in a thousand bucks a month, guys. Let me just go to an investment calculator. Let's say you're 30 years old, right? You're going to retire when you're 60. So let's say, you put in, I'm just typing in an investment calculator right now. Let's say with a 10% return, you put in um, a, a thousand bucks each month, you would end up after 30 years having $2 million. All right, let's say it's 35 years. That would turn into $3.4 million. A thousand bucks a month, people don't realize the, the, the uh, importance of investing and putting money into a retirement. This is like a retirement plan basically. And that's why so many people who spend, have hundreds and hundreds of dollars on their cars. If you would have just bought a car that you could actually afford or buy a cheap car in cash and instead invested that money, you could have millions of dollars by the time you retire. I mean, it, it's crazy. Just go to an investment calculator. This, because of this is compound interest, meaning let's say you put in, you know, a thousand or 10,000 bucks a year or a thousand bucks, even five grand a year, the money you make on the interest, then that gets, then that money is making interest. Does that, or not interest, but then that money is getting a return and then that money is getting return and then that money. So it just goes up and up and up and up and up the longer you have it in. So anyways, just want to share that with you guys. Check out my link below to get your 30 day free trial. Try it out. If you don't like it, cancel. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.